Peggy 18. We're here today at Abbey Road Studios in London recording the music for our first trailer for Crisis 2. We're recording New York, New York today, but in a different way that people won't have heard before. The difference between Crisis 2 and Crisis 1 is that we're featuring, we're moving the main attraction of Crisis 1, which is jungle, into an urban jungle. Urban jungle is literally New York now, and New York is again also a character that transforms, has its own arc. We all know what New York City looks like normally, and we kind of recognise it in this game, but it's rendered in a way which is just completely unusual and hasn't been seen before. And but in a similar way, we wanted to take an iconic element of New York and actually rework it to create something really new and unique. The Crytek team are working closely with Richard Morgan, the uh, acclaimed sci-fi author, on a fantastic, deep, rich sci-fi storyline for Crisis 2. And it brings out a lot of emotion and a lot of feelings that uh, we think Holly's particular voice and recording of this track really will reinforce strongly. It was very much um, an organic process where I saw these kind of little sketches suddenly turn into this kind of huge epic picture and story and it was very exciting to watch and be a part of. Trailer production, uh, CG is a choice, but we deliberately think that we don't need that because the CryEngine is able to deliver CG quality output. And, but also we want to be consistent with the real-time game experience. So we didn't want to show imagery that is different from the in-game experience. The CryEngine 3 has been an exceptionally powerful tool to create cinematic and epic imagery. Add into that the fact that it's actually 100% real time, so you can work and get your editorial control and you can make changes and you can try things in a way much more akin to something like uh, almost a live set for certain elements. We want to be both gamers experiencing real-time experiences, but also the creator. When we create the game, we want to be faster and more iterative and more to the point so that we can get instant results. And when we do that, we offer ultimately a better game. That's what we call what you see is what you play. What we're doing with this trailer is really setting up the story for Crisis 2. We're showing the, the scale of the human tragedy that's, that's going on in New York City. We really wanted to set up some ideas about the tone of the game and the setting and also the idea of the hero. The Now City is not the hero itself, it's a meta character that follows in its own development. Richard Morgan and me, we worked on an arc that tries to transform the player and the nanosuit into a new kind of experience. 